2023 and the new desk setup tour it might look the same from last year but there are so many new features and products that i want to share with you and this is my favorite video to make every year what didn't change from last year is the desk which is the mirage from reflex italian design i really love this desk i use it for many years it looks so clean with a top glass which reminds a lot of the minimal apple style around the edges and really solid walnut wood legs the only complaint about this desk is that it's fixed it's a table so it's not a standing desk talking about the monitors that you can see there massive huge monitor setup and rocking the samsung 49 inch crg9 which is a massive 49 inch Inch monitor 5k by 1440p it's hdr 1000 high refresh rate with 120 hertz it's very very big but it's 1440p in the vertical side so it's like having basically two 27 inch 1440p monitor so it's not a razor sharp in the text and the detail and i wish that samsung or lg made a 2160p by 7k super ultra wide monitor and that will be definitely the killer deal it's overkill for most of the tasks it's perfect for video editing because you have a really large timeline it's a productivity killer but it's not so color accurate and this is why on the top i have another monitor which is the banq pd 2725u it's designed for designers so it's perfect for photo and video editing it's super color accurate it's hdr 400 it's the reference monitor that i use to color grade all of my photos Footage. but what drives all this amount of pixel is my new edition i'm super proud of it it's the max studio i worked so hard to to buy this one it's pretty expensive and it's the 2022 apple max studio i used it for around six months and it's killer i'm gonna make a full dedicated long-term review so definitely subscribe and stay tuned on the channel for that but spoiler alert it's perfect of course it's m1 max processor so it's killer processor for video editing but i decided to upgrade the gpu side so it's 10 cpu cores and 32 gpu cores it's tremendous it works very very well in final cut pro and it's super fast exporting for the first time i i'm not limited by the gear that i use and i can create without any restriction and the best thing about this mac is that i can edit super complicated the timeline super heavy footage and meanwhile it can drive all these two monitor setup at full resolution max refresh rate so i'm rocking a 5k at 120 hertz and a full hdr 27 inch 4k monitor all without a sweat and meanwhile it makes multiple tasks at the same time photoshop and so on without any problem definitely it's my favorite product of the year and below the mac studio i have the satechi mac mini hub which works with the mac studio as well and now i have a usb a port on the front usb c and headphone jack if you want you can insert the ssd and vme in the dock as well and if you have a mac mini or a mac studio i really suggest to get you that dock on top of the mac studio you can see my lego batman the dark knight tumblr and uh, it blends in very very well with the keyboard which is the apple standard keyboard in uh, space gray uh, as well as the apple trackpad i am a mouse and trackpad person so you have both of them close all of these of course i'm using the mx master gen 3 which is perfect in gray and there are so many keys that you can cast 
customized and my editing workflow improved so much thanks to this mount and all of these nice peripherals sit on the delta hub clean and minimal desk pad and this is a light gray version it looks really nice with the stormtrooper look it's really cozy and comfortable especially in winter and i'm rocking also the delta hub carpio 2.0 version of the wrist rest which i can't work without they are matching the space gray and black of the keyboard there are also light gray and white version and also the gaming version which has a bracelet for high professional gaming the setup is pretty wide but there are no speakers i use my headphone of choice which is the sony 1000 xm3 i don't see the reason to upgrade to the nicer and newer model and they sound really good perfect anc noise cancelling they rest on the satechi headphone stand i really love the design of this product it has a built-in charging pad on the base so you can charge your airpods pro and it looks really really cool talking also about satechi i'm using the iphone minimal in clean white stormtrooper iphone stand which looks phenomenal as well i have a charger in the base built in for the airpods and of course a magsafe charger for the iphone it works very well with magnetic attachments and talking about lights i have many lights but my latest addition is the Gooby exa which is this exa form light they are fully rgb so you can change color and create a color pattern they look really really cool in white on the wall and there is a BenQ screen bar on the top of the monitor for long night editing i can create some ambient lights we reduce a lot the strain on your eyes my chair of choice is the citro contemporary model from project x it reminds a lot the herman miller even though it costs less than one third of the price and this year to complete the wall behind me i added some shelf hopefully you enjoyed this as well let me know in the comment section what is your favorite part of the setup what you will change maybe a 32 apple display i don't know i will really really love to rock it with my mac studio so that's all for today thanks so much for watching be sure to like this video and as always stay tuned on shades of tech ciao